Well, hello and welcome to another mailbag. Uh, I've got the microphone on a spindly stick right here, so I'm hoping it'll capture both of us. Lots of people complaining they can't hear the dulcet tones of Miss Hubnut. How unfortunate. How unfortunate for them indeed. So um, we're, we're experimenting with this to see if it works a bit better. Um, I can't record more than one microphone at the moment. It's beyond my system capabilities. So we'll see how this goes. But yeah, mailbag. Um, we've, first of all, we've got this lovely little seating area. We're on a 2CV front seat that has been cleared by Miss Hudnut. So thank you. You're welcome. Oh, and, and uh, I've got mug news as well. Uh, small black mugs. I'm still s struggling to find a decent supplier for a nice large mug. But these, these do the job. And uh, we should have some fresh stocks of those in at some point probably not by the time you watch this probably gonna be another week or two i haven't even sent me the invoice yet that's nah. must chase that up on mm -hmm. monday so we've had to split the parcels into three categories this time yes we've got um <sighs> sent by actual sensible humans sent by wish and x-rated sent by wish um to keep this family friendly we're going to put the x-rated in a separate <laughs> video so if your children are watching don't worry this, this is the harmless one yeah this is harmless so what we got in here? Oh, I am excited by this one. Oh, oh, yes! Didn't your son draw something similar to this the other day? I think he did. That it's a two CV pot. Now, what you don't That's know handy. is that I love China. I oh. absolutely love China. And there's a lid as well. We better try that out. Which way around does it go? Let's get this right. I oh, think that sorry, way around. Sorry. Oh, look oh. At that. that's fabulous. Yeah. That's a little brew for you. Yeah, that'd be good, that. That is lovely. Maybe use our, um, uh, not the, the cats, the drowny cats, but <laughs> actually get a separate tea leaf holder. So we, we have some What's loose wrong? leaf tea. What's wrong with the drowny cats? I just don't think the drowny cats would look right on a, soup, on a teapot. Oh. That's all that was in that box. I couldn't find a letter. However, it does say there is an address on the side. Yeah, yeah, I think someone messaged me to say they were alerting me to sending this through um other side other side <laughs> oh yes um yeah that doesn't really give away but you know who you are so thank, thank you very you much, very much. I, don't, I don't want to give out your address um, on a video okay. so we'll jump on to the next item ah. it come to the p.o box p.o box 96 new key sa 449 az now this was further to a um, Twitter discussion, I believe. Yeah, one of my favourite teas. It's very smoky in flavour. Its origin is from when tea was taken from China to Russia by camel caravans. And the tea would pick up the smoke flavour from the campfires. Oh, it's from Fixed Drive Ride Fly. Yes, there uh, was a discussion over who's, which loose teas were the best. And I believe it was his favourite. Okay. So we will now be sampling that. It's sealed very well, I can't smell it at all. A certain two children think that they're connoisseurs at the moment, so they will be given that Combined in well. Assam and Lapsang Souchong. Oh, Lapsang Souchong is lovely. That's good. I, I wonder if that'll work nicely. There's a light bright tea. Maybe that'll work well as a non-milk tea, because I keep forgetting to bring milk yes, to the it unit. Yes, I wouldn't put, I wouldn't put milk in that. I would no. enjoy it. Okay, we'll leave that one here then. Oh. Thank you very much. I just said the hublets might, hublets might enjoy it. Well, maybe we can lure them to the unit with the promise of tea. For some reason they wanted to stay on the lovely warm sofa wrapped in blankets I today. I can't imagine why. No idea why. Uh, let's see what we got in this one. I've got a little invoice and ah some scratch pens. Uh, fiberglass pens, oh brass bristle and steel bristle. Scratch pens. Ah. I think you can use those for electrical connectors and stuff as well. Um, so uh, yeah, very useful. Thank you very much for those. I couldn't find the name, but thank you for that was. Yeah. Thank you. Put those somewhere safe. There's something else I need to do is organise my tools, so I know because people send me so much useful stuff, and it has to go but somewhere. You told me that was organised. Semi-organised. Slightly organised. Not at all organised. Uh, hi, Ian and Miss Hubner. Really love your videos. So keep up the great work. Here is a key ring for Miss Hubnut to hang in Shemi. Uh, Shemi has one of the new Hubnut key rings at the moment. But uh, maybe she deserves something a bit more yes, special. Ooh. <laughs> Miss Hubnut's car. <laughs> oh. That's the one that's just about to fail in MOT, she, yeah? Oh, I'm, this is really lovely. Shemi is going to fail. 
she has not just a smoking issue but we really want I think we I really want to save Shani because she's a fabulous little car um, and as a learner driver she's really maneuverable I feel really weird with this wiggly thing in my face yeah I know but the mic <laughs> I'm bringing the microphone because yeah. you speak very softly dear because I'm whereas I have a big powerful I'm a delicate flower whereas I'm right. a creative YouTuber <laughs> not this again <laughs> mm. but yes yeah, Shemi she's going to live she will live one way or another we will find a way uh, let's see thought you might like the calendar to remind you of the magnificent sights of New Zealand oh there we go New Zealand National Park uh, never been myself, but my partner has an old friend out there and she sends a calendar every Christmas. Hope you get the bag of oil absorbent granules. Yes, we yes, that came in. And you've already started using Was that them? in the last mailbag? I yes, think it was. It was yeah, yes. they're coming very useful because Tuck is peeing oil everywhere. <laughs> I love the description. Yes. Which Should help with those Exxon Valdez moments. Yes, yes, I do so often suffer. They are brilliant, those granules. Very useful. The floor's already looking much cleaner. It does, it does look much better. Uh, I often miss my t own 2CV. Um, covered 117,000 miles, two and a half thousand pounds on the road from Worthing Motors. I've never spent that much buying the 2CV. I think that might be new. The new, new, yeah, to, yeah, to 1983, that probably was, um, yeah, brand new. Wow, those were the days. Thank you very much, Martin. And we have a lovely calendar. Uh, oh, I'm trying to work out if I've been to any of these places. But yeah, New Zealand, very, very beautiful. Uh, if you can go there, I would definitely recommend it. it he, is a, he's been a horror for just every time New Zealand comes on the telly. Oh, I might have been there. Oh, oh look at them. They've managed to get there. rid of coronavirus. Yeah. yeah. We allowed to say coronavirus. Yeah, I think we're all right now. We're all right now. I think YouTubers recognise it exists. <laughs> oh, that's good to do. Yeah. Uh, dear Ian, hope you and the family are well. Having seen you, you grumbling about having to switch between a ratchet and a screwdriver handle while struggling with a Rover alternator, I remember how useful one of these was in similar endeavours. Also cheap 10mm sockets. Um, contrary to the meme, I have at least six of them. This is from Ryan. We apologise for the handwriting and red pencil. It's probably neat of my handwriting. Oh wow. Mm. <gasps> oh look at that. It's even got a 10mm already on it. Oh, I've seen these on um, Wintergarten, oh. uh, the, making the marble machine. He, he's got one of these, and uh, yeah, that, that, that's very nice. I like that very much. Oh, I think that might become a prize tool. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> I didn't say a word. Oh, there's another 10 mil in here as well, to look at it. Woo. Oh, that one's gone. <laughs> Sorry, I found it. Yep, two 10 mils. Well. Wow. Thank you, Ryan. That is um, a genuinely useful tool. I must put that in. That might Shall go I put it straight in the box? Straight in the toolbox. Straight in the box. Yeah. Period. Thank you very much. Oh, this one is one I knew about, but it didn't arrive quite in time, I think. Is this the Rita Spanner? It is the Rita Spanner. Yeah, this is a the Rita elusive Spanner. The 24. You can see the, the person has sort of welded it slightly, or not welded it, heated it just to bend it slightly, and also shaved a bit off that's what the access is like uh, that's a really kind gift um, but um, Rita will be on her way she's still outside at the moment um, because lockdown is making collection difficult but that will be going in Rita that will go with her so the, the next owner should they have to tackle Their life serpentine should be a belt bit easier. yeah so thank you very much that is um, passed them by somebody used dedicated. to have a rover got rid of his rover I um, sent, no, sent that onto us so thank you very much Oh, we're getting near the end already. So, um, uh, not really. You haven't got in the big box and there's still wish to go. <laughs> yeah, her laughter is worrying me. The, the noises as she was going through the packages was um, something else. Uh, I recorded a little bit and posted it on Twitter, I think. It's weird talking about things you did in the future, in the past. Yeah. Yeah. For a video that isn't created yet, that's going out in the future. Uh, dear Ian and kids and, and Miss Hubnut, please find and close some drawings. And some questions for the nutlets or hublets. Who will what? be ecstatic yep, because okay. they've been itching for questions. Okay, we, we, we will keep those um, questions um, in mind. That's good. And well, you can answer those ones because they're not for the hublets. Okay, how is the mighty Perodua Nipper and George the Cat? To be honest, um, I haven't had an update um, all that recently. 
Um, so I'll have to endeavour to find out. Maybe we can discuss in a future Q&A um, how those pair are getting on. Um, there's a little uh, tuck. Yeah, there's a little drawing of tuck. So thank you very much. That's Finley. Something else in oh, here. And there's there's lots else. in here, Ian. This oh, gosh. I particularly like this one. All right. This is how I should configure the unit. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't think it's quite that wide, unfortunately. I think it is. Yeah, mm. you reckon? Just about. I'd probably say a took on an angle. I don't think we're going to get four car cars across here, though. No, we need no, a skinny no, no, no. We get three. Yeah, we could definitely get three. Yeah. I like me yeah, so or Shemmy. That, that, that's his thinking on the matter. We will look into it. This is something that I think about quite a lot. Um, <laughs> a fleet list. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's worked out where to roll from as mm. well. So UJ for Shrewsbury for Ellie the 2CV. That's quite correct. Mm -hmm. CK is Cardiff. Got some question marks here. Um, yeah, B C T A K N. Yeah, K N to Milton Keynes. Yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll go through those and give those. And, and we've got the questions, questions for the nutlets. And for you. Ooh. Oh, no. No, it's no little miss and mini hub nut, not okay. me. We shall hold those back. So, Finley, yes, those we will carefully. make sure that we uh, get those answered for you because they would love to answer some questions. Now we've got the big one. Oh, we've got a card in here. Is this. A hangover from Christmas. It is a hangover from Christmas. So I apologise that it's now February as we're recording this. From Paul Brown, uh, warmest Christmas wishes to you and your family. Many thanks for another great, another year of great entertainment. All the best for 2021. Uh, so um, I've been filling down my collection. Do with them as you wish. I have no idea what's in his collection. We're about to find out. Oh, models. Oh, some very old models here. Mm. Now, I'm going to start with this Bedford CA Dormobile. You can tell that's quite old because look how the plastic has gone. It's kind of yellowed. Uh, I wonder when that was made. I'm thinking it probably isn't hugely old because um, Corgi really cottoned on to the power of co collectible models sort of in the 1990s. But that's, that's still a while ago now. That's very sweet. So that's a Bedford CA Dormobile. I'm going to unpack all these. Oh, just, lovely. Thank just you. Just for you. Um, we've got a Volkswagen Splitty. It's a reminder that just over a year ago, I was driving one of those around Sydney. And uh, amusingly, I went to a car meet and saw that car, that Splitty again, uh, in St Ives near Sydney. And that event was happening today. Oh, actually today. Yeah, yeah. And it was there again. And uh, the chap sent me some photos of other cars at the show. This so. one's interesting. Oh. Look at what uh, it's advertising. Oh my gosh, the Cambrian News in Aberystwyth. <laughs> oh, this box is a little bit damaged. Let's see if we can get... No, we'll have another one. <clears throat> yeah, look at that. Cambrian News in Aberystwyth. Not uh, my, not my favourite news both these days, but let's not get into that. Our local rag. Uh, what else have we got in here? Oh, Bedford oh, Type OB me. Coach. I've already got some OBs, but I've not got a Tours Isle of Man one. So, yeah, quite a few of those. There's a Bedford OB Coach that lives not too far away, isn't there? Oh, oh I know the one you're talking about. Yes. Yeah, hasn't that been was... out this year. No, you, it was featured on Heartbeat. Oh, no. Many years ago. The Express oh, Dairy no. Van has fallen over. That's another Bedford CA. It's had an, an incident. Yeah. Wow, a little Ford Popular van. DS Sheldon Light Haulage of Pentoinmau. Pentoinmau. You say it better. Mm. Proper Welsh, you see, Welsh education. Coleman's Mustard, another popular van. I think we could probably do some giveaways or something with this, didn't we? Van when I was little, but they were. It wasn't. It looked like that one. Oh, this Morris Minor van. Also it, had an incident. It's a, yeah, it's a seven up Morris Minor <laughs> van. It's also had a falling over. But yeah, if 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 I ever get um, my Hudden Up social plans for 2021 off the ground, and it's likely to be the latter end of the year if such things are possible, then um, yeah, I'm I would like to have competitions and stalls where you could possibly win st stuff like this, or or we sell some of this stuff and uh, money goes to charity or something. Uh, Roy Mayo. A small boy won't, might want a few. You might want a few, but his bedroom is already quite busy. Quite busy? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Collectors Models Big Bus. It's a uh, MCW. I'm getting this one out. <gasps> Don't unbox stuff. I do. 
Well, I can't see it. It's all buried. How do you get it out? Oh, it is. It's a Mark One Metro bus. So we've got to get it out. I'm sorry, it's compulsory. Oh, what was that? Little bits of wire that should be holding it to the base, I think. Yes, and they're not. So someone's been in here Somebody before. Somebody else's. But this, oh, I'll just give you all my chaos. Thank you, dear. That's so kind. This is what love is all about. <laughs> this is a Mark One MCW Metro bus built at the Metro Camel Works uh, near where LDV vans were made, I think, in Washford East, Birmingham. And uh, the Mark One has this beautiful asymmetric windscreen. I am desperate to drive one of these Mark One Metro bus. And you see the lovely pantograph wipers there. Yes, dear. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, dear. <laughs> uh, I think we can open up the. Oh, we oh, can. Oh, look. You can open up the um, rear hatch. It won't stay up, unfortunately. Uh, show off the Gardner 6 LXB engine. Uh, the engines look absolutely ancient in these. They're um, uh, attached to a, a Voith three speed gearbox with a very, very loud retarder. They make a fantastic noise. I love Metro buses. Very much the bus of my childhood. So yeah, thank so you. you keep it that Loving way. that one. <laughs> we'll put that back in the box later. Yeah, I'll put them there carefully. We've got another OB Green Slades Tours this time. Going to Clovelly. Clovelly, lovely. Yeah, that's down Devon way, isn't that it? That is a North Devon. Yeah. Very nice. You have to take a donkey down to the You have to. Yeah, no cars allowed. Oh Morris J Van again. I've got Morris J Vans in other liveries. That's good. That's the police. Where is it? Metropolitan Police. Wow. Very, very nice. Uh, another Bedford OB, Devon General this time. Oh, is this giving us a hint to where these came from, I wonder? Well, there's, there's, a, a, bit of no, a, there's a bit of a spread, isn't there? From Wales, from Devon. There's a bit of a spread. Uh, we've got Cambrian Factory Limited, hand-woven Welsh tweeds mm. on a little Ford Popular oh, van name on the back. Llanot Tidwells in Brecon. Oh. Mm. And finally uh, we have Abbey Colour Quality Film Service on another Ford Popular van. So thank you for those and uh, yeah we'll, we'll see what we can do with those because I already have far too mo many models as it is. I'm thinking of getting rid of the ones I have there somewhere in the bedlam. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Thank you very much for sending them. It's certainly very Thank interesting. You. Thank certainly you. Certainly keep some of the... Um, I'm keeping the Metro bus. Yes, the I Metro gathered. bus is not for sale. I gathered the Metro bus. I already have say. two model Metro buses, but they're not that so detailed. You need, no oh, wipers. right, you need a third one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> right, uh, should we jump into the... These are the safe wish items that have been sent to us from China. <laughs> okay. And I, I will read out what's on the description as well as... No, those are the dodgy ones! Don't touch the dodgy ones! Okay, don't touch the dodgy ones. Okay, right, so the first one is described as a scratcher device. And it is! And it is. It's um... <laughs> oh, we might as well open it. Mm -hmm. I think otherwise the light's just going to reflect off it. You're not going to see the true majesty of this. How do we get in? That's not all that's in there. No. So there you go. This is your scratcher. Oh yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. To be fair, that's very good. Woohoo! <laughs> and we have. But what on earth is this? <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> it looks like. It's like a Swiss Army knife, but there are only two things. It's a things. bit like scissors and a little screwdriver had a baby. Yeah. Because we got a. a Quite a sharp blade there, and a little screwdrivery bit there. Oh, and a knife blade there. Good job I didn't cut my fingers off on it. <laughs> That's I bet the boy would love that. Oh, god, yeah. But he'd want to try it out on stuff. Uh, description of contents sensor. The description does not always match what's in here. Just saying customs. What, what, what is it? I don't know. It looks like a light of some sort. Oh, I think 
I know what it is. I don't think I want to put it in my mouth, but I think it's a teeth whitener. Teeth whitener. Do you see? Do you see how, how it's a teeth whitener? Well, you turn the light on and it makes your teeth white. Yeah. <laughs> you put a battery in my mouth. No. Oh, it's got no battery. Oh. USA and worldwide patents pending. It doesn't meet EU regs because it hasn't got. Um... Oh, it has got a battery in it. The battery's just dead. So you know what? Or it's got one of them thingies you pull out. Oh, does it? Yeah. No, I think, I think it's just rubbish. Oh, I've lost another battery. Oh, there you go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we <laughs> got the disc. Oh, my teeth are going to be so white. I know. Uh, yeah. Make it as YouTube ready. <laughs> so you shine this at your teeth and your teeth go white. You literally put it in your mouth. Like that. In front of your teeth. Why? For white teeth. You should turn that off and never speak of it again. Some of this stuff is just bizarre. <laughs> uh, more safe. More safe, okay. Is that safe? Yep, both of these bags are safe. Oh, was a little, oh no, is that dodgy safe? Uh, will you stop touching the dodgy one? Those are dodgy. Okay. Those are safe. Okay. Ooh. Uh, beautiful coat. So, is this really a beautiful coat? Well, there was a vain optimism. Oh, there's clothing. Mm. It's a Wish t-shirt. It's a Wish t-shirt. But it's a lovely colour. I think I might yeah. wash that and wear that too. There we go. What a lucky man I am. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> I get a Wish t-shirt as well. <laughs> I frankly would not spend a penny with Wish, but thank you for sending me all this stuff, Wish. Oh, no, got an orange one. <laughs> None of these items are a beautiful <laughs> coat. I'm very disappointed. Oh my god, no. <laughs> oh, what a surprise. It's a Wish t shirt. Oh no, could it be? A wish t-shirt. <laughs> oh, oh dad. From Guo Yang, EPC Warehouse, door two, warehouse six. Make sure you get the right warehouse. <laughs> Number 668, Huaji Road, Huaji Town, China. Yangzhou is where all this has come from. But it's okay. Beautiful coat, beautiful coat. Mm. Wish t-shirts, but be where's the beautiful coat? <laughs> I am so disappointed. It's okay, it's okay. You've got another bag of, of wish things. Okay. I can't remember how this one's What do they allege is in this one? Wish t-shirt. <laughs> and the value, they reckon, is 11 pence. Oh, oh dear. You know, have a look at this stuff. <laughs> It's a wish. <laughs> You're loving this far too much. Oh wait, it's a wish T-shirt. <laughs> oh, we have another yellow one yet. Yeah? It's a wish T-shirt. <laughs> Why are they sending me this stuff? Yeah, make a wish everyone, you're getting a wish t-shirt. Is there any more? Or is that it? That's all for the decent stuff. Okay, well, <laughs> thank you everyone, apart from wish. Uh, we're, we're going to go now because she's apparently broken. I've lost it. I'm sorry. Okay. 
so yeah thanks for watching and we shall see you in a future video and who knows what on earth we will get in that one i know other stuff is already on the way so that will be in the march mailbag thank you farewell Bye. we have had one more item come it has come from the pensioner uh, i've just opened it um camera didn't record so that was good um but what it is is another 12 volt air pump and uh, a very useful thing uh, i do have one somewhere but the pipe on it broke um so we'll see whether that works um yeah see what it looks like these things are so useful and uh, I, I find myself at the moment i've got one here and and then i notice flat tires when i'm at home and i do have a stirrup pump and they are useful but um yeah looks like it should be um pretty useful it's got a light on it as well and it's one of these where you set the um the temperature pressure and off you go so thank you for that the pensioner uh, that's uh, very very kind of you he's one of my followers on twitter uh, you can find me on twitter as hubnut vids and miss hubnut as m hubnut so um, we're both on twitter these days thank you very much for that that's very kind and uh, that concludes the mailbag this time so thank you very much see you next time